Hello all, this is Dr. Alsip, and in this video we will discuss how to identify the contents of the popliteal or popliteal fossa. And right off the bat, let's get oriented. So we are looking at a posterior view of the knee joint region. So you can see a bit of the quadriceps femoris muscle here, some of the tendon here. And um, you can see, and that will be more anteriorly oriented. And then right back here in this posterior region, you can see some fairly large neurovascular structures. And these will be the contents or the major contents of the popliteal fossa. So again, the popliteal fossa is in the posterior knee region. It is that diamond-like depression in the back of the knee. And the fossa is bounded by muscle tendons of the hamstrings more superiorly, you can see one really well right here, as well as the gastrocnemius tendon, which has been removed in this image to really show you how that neurovasculature travels into the leg region. But our focus is really going to be on these larger neurovascular structures, and they're organized in a pretty typical fashion. So, and it's in this order here in this list. So from superficial, to deep, this is how the structures are organized as I have over here in this list. Um, or you can even think of it as from posterior, so the more posterior structures to the more anterior structures. Either way, those are correct ways to kind of think about this. Okay, so um, the most superficial thing in this region other than say fascia and some small cutaneous nerves and veins which have been removed in this dissection is going to be the sciatic nerve. And the sciatic nerve is pretty hard to miss. It's that largest nerve of the body and it will fairly superiorly divide into its two terminal branches. So you can see right here where it's splitting. The larger and more medial branch is the tibial nerve which to me is usually one of the most prominent things to see in this region. Oftentimes I get it confused with the sciatic nerve um, if I haven't found where it branches. So it looks almost like a continuation of the sciatic nerve in many ways. And it will continue to run down the posterior leg as we can see here, as it's that dominant supply of the posterior leg. The smaller and more lateral nerve is the common fibular uh, often referred to as the common peroneal nerve. So that will be the more lateral of the two terminal branches. Intermediate in depth, but I would say on the deeper side of intermediate, is the popliteal vein. And deepest of all will be the popliteal artery. And the popliteal artery is so deep that it's literally sitting on the surface of the posterior femur, so quite deep. So if you're doing the dissection, you need to kind of continue to move through that region in order to get to that. Now recall that deep veins typically travel in pairs uh, near the artery, and sometimes you see them wrapping around the arteries. You can see that happening a little bit right here. Oftentimes in dissection, one will think they have found only one vascular structure, but it really is um, both the popliteal veins and artery are typically wrapped together tightly in fascia. So sometimes with removal of that fascia, you can see the separate structures of the vein and the artery as has been done in this dissection. Right at the distal border of the popliteal fossa, the popliteal artery divides into its terminal branches, which are the anterior and posterior tibial arteries which will supply the anterior and posterior compartments of the leg. And as this is a posterior view, um, you can see the, um, you can see the, the posterior tibial artery kind of running down the leg in this region. The anterior tibial artery kind of goes in front of the interosseous membrane, so it's not uh, quite as visible uh, in this view. Okay, so again to review, the sciatic nerve and its terminal branches, the tibial nerve and the common fibular or peroneal nerves will be superficially placed in the popliteal fossa. 
with the popliteal vein, kind of intermediate but very close to the deep popliteal artery. Excellent. And those are the contents of the popliteal fossa in a nutshell. Thank you for your time and attention, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.